Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I'm gonna to show you how to add awesome 3D effects to your videos, just like this one. If you wanna be able to create video effects like this, well, stick around and I'll show you step-by-step step how I did these effects and how you could do these effects and others. All right, well, let's jump to it. So what I'm gonna do, here I am on my desktop and we're gonna use, out of all things, the Photos app. So here if I type in Photos and search, you see Photos pop up. Another way you can access, is it, access this app is by typing in Video. All that does, you see this entry for Video Editor, that just pulls up the Photos app. So I'm gonna click on that and this opens up Photos. You might be wondering, why are we opening the Photos app? We wanna add cool 3D effects to video. Well, one of the things Microsoft did is uh, when they came out with the latest version of Windows 10, they discontinued support for Windows Movie Maker, which was the previous incarnation of video editing on Windows, and they replaced it with the Photos app. With the Photos app, they've started investing more and more in adding video capabilities, but it all sits on, under the umbrella of Photos. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, my wife and I, we recently went on a trip to Oahu with our son, and so I'm gonna go pick a video file and I'm gonna show you how you can add some cool effects to it. Uh, so I brought my drone along and we uh, flew over Oahu. Um, here's a nice, uh, let's say a 20 second clip uh, that I'm gonna click on. Um, so here, we'll take a quick look at this video. Uh, the drone is flying and you can see a whole bunch of buildings. And by the way, Oahu is beautiful. This is looking at Honolulu, uh, the city. You have some clouds in the background, but just gorgeous day, beautiful weather. The water was wonderful. Um, but here you see this nice video kind of going up over Honolulu. And so what I'll do now is I'll click on Edit and Create. And one of the things you'll see is there's this new thing called Add 3D Effects. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Add 3D Effects and we're gonna add some awesome 3D effects to this video. Uh, so now it brought my video file in. Here I could kinda, I could go through the video and see all the footage that I have. Um, and then over here you could see all the effects I could add to it. Um, so some of these effects have a diamond uh, these are premium 3D effects where you have to be an O365 subscriber, uh, but they also have a whole bunch of free effects. I happen to be a subscriber, so I have access to all these different effects. Um, but if you're not a subscriber, you get a lot of awesome effects nonetheless. Uh, so some of the things that we could do here, uh, let's say this is kind of funny, um, we're gonna add a blizzard into Honolulu. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and let's play the video. Um, so here you can see this cool blizzard effect. And if I go back, I could lengthen it um, so we get more blizzard in Honolulu, so kind of crazy. It's this beautiful sunny day and all of a sudden the blizzard comes in. Um, pretty cool effect there. Uh, but we're gonna cut the blizzard effect. We're gonna see what else we could do. Um, there are lots of different effects. Um, I also have you know, bubbles, butterflies, campfire, uh, comet trail, uh, and then we also have explosion, dust explosion. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna add a little explosion to one of these buildings in downtown Oahu. Uh, maybe this, uh, these look like two hotels right here. Um, so let's add a, let's throw an explosion in there. Now what's neat about it is, you know, here I could adjust the size. That's gonna be a quick, you could kind of adjust the orientation, um, the direction you could spin around. So you can see all of these are kind of 3D effects that I'm adding. So this explosion will be pretty quick. Um, and you'll see there's a quick explosion there. Uh, but what I wanna do, so here I could go through frame by frame and I could see that explosion. Um, after that explosion on the building, what I wanna do is I wanna add a fire. So I'm gonna add a little, that's called a campfire. Uh, so I'm gonna lower it down. And then what I wanna do is we're first gonna have the explosion. Um, and then kind of after the explosion, the, the fire will continue. So here we're gonna kind of uh, lengthen, lengthen it out. Let's take a look and see what this looks like. Um, so first we have, um, so we're gonna have the explosion and there's a fire. It looks more like the fire is up in the mountains over there. Uh, and one thing we could do too is we can anchor it to a point. Uh, the benefit of that is as the camera is moving, uh, you notice that the, the building position changed. Uh, so what I could do is instead, we're gonna anchor it to that top point uh, right there. And that way, as the video moves, the fire will stay in that point. So let me uh, go ahead and reattach it to that building and just make sure my explosion also hit that building. Okay, and then my explosion is actually up there, so we want the explosion to sit there. Uh, let's see. And then we're also gonna attach the explosion to a point as well, because we're gonna have that same issue. So I'll attach it um, up there on the building. Okay. 
And let's see, so we have some different effects. Uh, what, else, what I can also add dust. Oh, we could even throw in a dust explosion here. Let's just do that. And that might add some, uh, add some impact. Um, and here too, I also want to attach it to a point. So I'll attach it to that top point on the building. Uh, uh, and let's go back and see what else I could do. So we have explosion, flying bats. Uh, we could do things like uh, jack-o'-lanterns, a laser beam. Uh, maybe we have a lightning bolt hit uh, before this fire starts. Um, and then we'll just attach it towards the base of the building. Um, so here we'll put the, the lightning down at the base of the building. It reanalyzes. Okay. So we got a little lightning bolt going. I'll have to make sure the order of these uh, effects uh, is all kind of aligned. You could do a muzzle flash if you're doing some shooting action. Uh, neon sphere, party lasers, you could also do a raging fire. The, the kind of explosion ones, I think those are a lot of fun, but you have lightning, you have these different kind of scene intros, live text or live sports. Maybe we'll throw in a, uh, let's, let's call out that this is live. I'm going to kind of reduce the size of that. Um, and we'll have that kind of continue throughout the whole thing. Uh, just uh, it's a live broadcast of this big, uh, big kind of fire going down. And let's see what else I could throw in here. Um, so you kind of get the idea. There are lots of different effects you could do. You know, they have wisp of smoke. You know, I could throw some smoke in. You have sparks on impact, uh, snowflakes. You could even throw some rain in um, if you wanted. Maybe I'll throw some rain in uh, and we'll have that kind of go throughout the video too. I'll increase the campfire again so you can see it continue. And I need to anchor it to the building. Um, and let's, uh, let me just make sure all these are aligned. Let's start up again. So here I am just kind of flying along, um, looking at Honolulu on this beautiful rainy day. Oh, and then there's, uh, there's some uh, lightning that went off. Uh, and then there, uh, so you have to align all these different effects. I'll just make sure I move these so the explosion happens up there. Maybe we're going to get rid of this raging fire in the mountains. That's kind of distracting, so I'm going to cut that one. Um, and then we want to just make sure the lightning hits. Uh, just before the fire starts. So let's just take a look again. Um, here the lightning goes off, there's the explosion, and then we have well, the campfire's got to start a little bit earlier. Um, so we're going to pull that forward just a little bit. Um, and now it just has to reprocess. All right, well, let's, uh, let's check out how this all looks. So there we go, live news broadcast here. We are from Honolulu on a beautiful, sunny, and yet rainy day. Oh, there is a lightning strike. Oh, and we had a big explosion on one of our downtown hotels, and there's a raging fire on the upper floors. Smoke is coming out above the city. We're going to see if we can fly above and get a better shot of that. Uh, and there you go. Now what I'm going to do is uh, let's click on Save a Copy. Um, now it's saving my creation, and it's exporting my video. And there it is. I have this video file of a disaster scene going down in Honolulu, Hawaii. Um, but that's how easy it is. Uh, most of you, if you have Windows 10, you already have this app on your computer, and you could start taking advantage of these effects uh, very easily. Uh, so hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, and if you're creating cool videos using these effects, please post a link to your video in the comments. I'd love to check out what you guys create. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see future videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. And that way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.